Hi guys, we're going to have a look today at uh, adding a wiki activity in Moodle 2.3. So wiki activities can be used to um, get students uh, collaborating on a piece of work, uh, maybe brainstorming, maybe a piece of creative writing, it could be planning for something, um, it could just be taking lecture notes, something like that. Um, you can also set up individual wikis, and I'll show you what the difference is uh, a little bit later between the collaborative and individual. Uh, same as anything else in Moodle, to add it to your course, uh, you have to be a teacher or course creator or be able to uh, have the, the rights to edit a course, so turn editing on. Uh, and then we're going to go to, let's just finish this loading add an activity or resource and choose wiki. There we go. Now I'm going to take you through one that I've set up already just to talk about the... Uh, oops, let's go back to that. Uh, if I edit it first. Just to show you some of the different settings. So same as anything else, give it a name, give it a description. Um, obviously in the description tell your pupils what you actually want them to do with the wiki. Um, then we're into the wiki settings. Now, uh, think up a sensible first page name. I've just put a test for my example. Um, once you've got going with your wiki, you can't go back and change that. So, um, And if you leave it as default, um, then you get what it says in that box, which uh, by default is um, first page name or something like that, which is a little bit silly to have as a the actual name for the front page of your wiki. Uh, you've got different modes of the wiki so um, this is where I was saying you've got a collaborative wiki so um, anybody um, depending on your settings anybody can uh, work together collaboratively, uh, collaboratively on it um, or if you choose individual then each of your students has their own uh, wiki so if you want them to collect private revision notes or if they want if you want to use it as a, a journal um, or simply just a space where they can do some planning before submitting an assignment then um, that's when you'd use an individual wiki uh, three main formats um, I tend to leave it as HTML that gives you the nice um, Moodle editing box same as this one here um, easier for younger children to use uh, if your students understand about wikis uh, and the markup, the, the little shortcuts to create things, then maybe Creole or MWiki would be faster. Um, but as I said, I choose HTML most of the time. And you can choose to force that if you want, um, so they can't change that format. Groups like other activities, so um, you can choose to have separate visible or no groups. And then advanced features restricting access and activity completion. So that needs to be enabled by your site admin. Um, restrict access, you can um, only allow pupils to access this wiki after they've done something else first. Uh, activity completion, um, this uh, is a way to track whether the students have accessed the wiki. Um, so they can either um, choose themselves when they've completed this activity, uh, or you can say it's complete when the students have viewed it. Um, but as I said, so those are those are advanced um, features, and they need to be enabled by your administrator. So once you've gone through the uh, initial settings, then um, you can begin to get some content on them. So your students or you um, can start building pages. Now, just as this is loading, you could actually see the there we go. So if you want to add a new page to the wiki, you simply use two square brackets uh, you can add some tags if you want, so that will help for searching I'm going to save that. Um, I've got three there that are red, one that's blue. Blue is one that's actually had content added to it, so if I Click one of these, very last page, and if I actually create it, 
and then if I put the new content, and if I save that, uh, then when I go back to my main wiki, there we go, it's gone blue to show that that was actually created. So there we go. Um, some of the other features once your students are using your wiki. Um, I've just shown you edit there to actually create the content. You can see comments, so um, you can ask your students to comment on the wiki as well. Uh, those will get saved in the list. You can see the history of changes on your wiki. So different versions of it as I've been setting it up and editing it this morning. Um, quite a neat feature, you can compare different versions. So if I compare the first one with the last one, I can see some of the changes that I've been making. Um, so that's handy if you want to see exactly which student has been uh, writing which comments on the wiki or, or changing certain content and then you can restore it back to a previous version, which is quite handy. Uh, the map allows you to um, just list the, uh, the different pages in a slightly different way so you can actually see what's there uh, a little bit easier. Orphan pages, so pages that aren't linked to anything, um, and so on and so on. And then administration uh, allows you to strip out certain pages and delete different versions. So there we go. Uh, that's how to set up a um, a collaborative wiki. Don't forget the other way. You can also choose the individual settings if you want um, pupils to be able to have their own individual one to use within your course. Enjoy. Thanks for listening.